Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We thank God for another day. The Bible says this is the day the Lord has made that we should be glad and rejoice in it. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I welcome everybody to church. I welcome everybody to church. Invite somebody to join. God bless you. God bless you. Invite somebody to join. Pin somebody. Pin somebody and tell them the prophet is on board. It's a Sunday. It's a Sunday and it's a special Sunday. This is a special Sunday for us. We thank God we are in our Sabbath. We thank God who is on board. Pin somebody and tell them it is time for church. Pin somebody and tell them it is time for church. Pin somebody and tell them it is time for church. Thank you, Spirit of God. Thank you, Spirit of God. Invite somebody who is on board. I see Hela. Hela is here. God bless you, Hela. God bless you for joining. Who is here? Register your name and your location. Let me know you are here. I see Oba Perfia. God bless you, my daughter. God bless you. I see Anita. God bless you, Anita. God bless you. God bless you. Hela is here. God bless you, Hela. Melissa is also here. Invite somebody on board. Invite somebody on board. Pin somebody. Tell them it is time for service. Tell them it is time for service. Invite somebody on board. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Spirit of God. Invite somebody on board right now. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Spirit of God. My God. Kados Kivadalamania. I miss everybody. I miss everybody here. I miss Sunday prophetic service. Invite somebody to join. Invite somebody to join. Invite somebody to join. Ma karaba taraba. Le gras kavados ke telemene mene. Le bada vadili mino. Si pala vada bada. Kadala mani minimi. Le pala vadose. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Spirit of God. You are faithful, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. My God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Mm. Gados, ki vadele menos. Pragados ke telegadose. Bagadi valama de le menose. I'll put you in front. In front of my melody. You are all that matters. You are all that matters. I'll make room for two. Hey, Kabadosh, ki palavada. You are all that matters. You are all that matters. You are all that matters. Oh, hey, oh, hey. You are all that matters. Oh, hey, oh, hey. What would I leave for? 
If I don't have you in my life, what would I gain? If you take the home, Mr. Mike, God bless you for joining. God bless you, sir. My son Collins is here. God bless you, Anita. God bless you. Collins is here. God bless you, Collins. God bless you. What would I be of me? You are all I am. You are all that matters. You are all that matters. Hey, I'll put you in front. In front of my melody. You are all that matters. You are all that matters. I'll make room for two. You and I, Jesus. You are all that love. Kadala madele menoski palavranda la bada. Is it the house or is it the car? In the mighty name of Jesus, let's pray. Is it the name or is it? Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord Jesus. What would have become of me? If I didn't see your light, what would have been said of me if you didn't hold my hand? Now I've come to realize that you are all I have. You are all that matters. Hey, I'll put you in front. In front of my melody, you are all that matters. You are all that matters. You and I, Jesus, you are all that matters. My God, my God, let's pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you. We give you praise and glory. We honor your name for how far you brought us. We thank you for today and we thank you for this moment. We invite you to have your way. Bless us with your presence in Jesus' mighty name. Let there be a turnaround in the life of your people. Let there be a divine visitation in Jesus' mighty name. We call it done. Amen. Wherever you are, as you are joining, I welcome you to church. I welcome you to church. Today is Sunday's prophetic service. God bless you for joining me. God bless you for joining me. Wherever you are, I want you to join me as we bless the name of the Lord. Lift up your voice wherever you are as we magnify the name of the Lord. The Bible says in all things we should give praise and honor to the name of the Lord. Lift up your voice and magnify the name of the Lord. For our God is good, is love and mercy and dear forever. Somebody lift up your voice and bless the name of the Lord. Lift up your voice, magnify the name of the Lord. Lift up your voice, bless the name of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your voice. Magnify the name of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Magnify the name of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ramanda <laughs> 
Kapalavada, Yetanabedebede, Ratanaba de Kapalavada, Italaba de Menemi, Catalava de Mini, Ipolimini, Yetanemeneme, Rabababa Shapanda Badaba, Ekapalevidibio Telemeneme, Isotelemeneme Kapa, Radoza de la Beda, Ekato Shata, Rande de Bedebe, Epanda Lamane Mekapa, Ipalava de Lemeneme, Yeta, Ragadagadaba Ragadagada, Yetalegade Rapalava da Bada, Ekatalava de Lemeneme, Yetalamana, Yetelemeneme, Zuatalamania, Ipalada da da Bashapalavada, Ipalagada da 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 da, Ratada da da de Bekapa, Ipalidinimi, Yetadebe, Rapada de Bekapalavada, Yetadebe de Bedebe, Yapada de Bekapalavada, Rapanda de Minimia, Ratosa de Bede, Ragade Menemini, Ipaliminimia, Ipaliminimio Zetelemeneme. Palaba de Bedebe Catalaba la Balabada, Rapanda Badebe Capalava de Bedebia, Reta de Bedebe de Bede, Rata de Badebe Catalabada, Rata de Bedebe Capalava, Ragadagada, 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 Yeta de Bedebe de Beziata de Bedebe, Ramanda la Manimia Tenemenemene, Isotelemenemeneme, Ipalamani Mini Mini Mica Palaba la Bada, Rababa Baba Baba Shanda da 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 Bada, Rakandele Menemenemo Zetelemenemen. I paloa tele mene mene mio zedele me ramanda la mene me kapanda la bada ratu zede bede bede e kapade mene me zotele mene mene in the name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus we are lifting up our voice in prayer. That Father, let there be a manifestation of your power and your presence. I speak over everybody under the sound of my voice. May you receive a visitation from the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. May you receive a visitation, Jesus. May you receive a visitation from the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. A visitation from the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ha Kadosh Kapanda Labada, a visitation from the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord visit somebody today in the name of Jesus. I see God coming into your home. I see God coming into your home. I see God touching somebody under the sound of my voice in the mighty name of Jesus. I see God touching you right now. In the name of Jesus. I see God moving into your home now. In the name of Jesus. I see God touching you now. In the mighty name of Jesus. I see the hand of the Lord coming upon somebody. Under the sound of my voice. In the mighty name of Jesus. I speak over everybody. In the name of Jesus. May you receive a visitation from the Lord. A visitation from the Lord. A visitation from the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. The hand of God is coming upon two people. That I am seeing right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh my God. May you feel a move of the spirit of God. May you feel the power of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. I speak into your life right now. I speak over somebody. I speak over your marriage now. I speak over your business now. I speak over your children now. I speak over your job. In the name of Jesus, the visitation of the Lord is coming. In the mighty name of Jesus, the visitation of the Lord is coming. In the mighty name of Jesus, this is our month of rest. It's our month of completion. Whatever the Lord has started in your life, I hear God say, I will bring it to a successful end. Oh my God, whatever the Lord has started in your life, I hear the Lord saying, it shall come to a good end. Listen, the beginning of everything matters. But ladies and gentlemen in Christ Jesus, I came to tell you, that the beginning of everything matters, but the end matters most. Oh my God. The beginning of everything matters, but do you know what? The end matters most. 
And I came to suggest to somebody under the sound of my voice, I decree and declare over everybody under the sound of my voice, may you end this world in the name of Jesus. You shall end the world this year in the name of Jesus. Your month will end the world. Your business will end the world. Your marriage will end the world. Everything you have started, it shall end the world in the name of Jesus. My God, it shall end well. It will come to a good end. Oh my God, somebody type for me. I shall end well. I shall end well. I shall end well. Do you know how you will end well? Because no weapon, no weapon, no weapon, no weapon fashioned against you today shall stand. I decree, and every tongue that rises up against you in judgment we condemn. Every tongue that rises up against you in judgment we condemn. An evil voice speaking against your life, I declare and decree over you. You will end well in the name of Jesus. I said you will end well in the name of Jesus. You will end well in the name of Jesus. I speak over everybody under the sound of my voice. The beginning of everything matters, but the end matters most. My question is, how will you end? How will your life end? How will your business end? How will your marriage end? I speak over everything in your life that is facing a storm. In the mighty name of Jesus, may you end well. In the name of Jesus, may you end well. In the name of Jesus, may you end well. In the mighty name of Jesus, may you end well. In the name of Jesus, may you see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living before you leave. May you see the goodness of the Lord. My God. My God. My God. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are more than a conqueror. You are more than a conqueror. I came to tell you, you will end well this year. My God. My God. The good God. The Lord, our master, who has started the good work in you. He will bring it to a good end. Oh my God. Yeah, he will bring it to a good end. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, don't pay attention. Don't give no mind to whatever you are going through. Because whatever season you are in right now, no season is permanent. Every season is subjected to change. And I came to tell you, and a season is coming where everything that is working against you is about to work in your favor. Melissa, I speak over you in the name of Jesus. I hear the Lord saying, tell Melissa, it is turning around for your good. It is turning around for your good. Oh my God. Melissa, thou sayest the Lord. It is turning around for your good. Melissa, the Lord saith, it is turning around for your good. My God. My God. My God. I love this. I love this. It is already turning around for somebody's good. The business will turn around for your good. Yeah, the marriage will turn around for your good. I know things are not working. Things are not moving in the direction you expect it to move right now. It looks like you are in the middle of the deep blue sea. You find yourself between the rock and the hard place. But the Lord sent me to tell you, it shall work together for your good. It shall work together for your good. May everything work together for your good tonight. I speak over everybody. 
In the mighty name of Jesus, the year will work together for your good. Melissa, thou sayest the Lord, it shall work together for your good. And the Lord said, we are in the seventh month. And the seventh month is the month of completion. The seventh month is the month of completion. Whatever you have started, <laughs> you are about to complete. And you will not just complete, you will complete well. You didn't hear that. You will not just complete, you will complete well. For the month of July is the month of completion. It's a month of success. Oh my God. Oh my God. Melissa, I see documents. I see documents being signed. And the Lord said, I am about to complete whatever I started in your life. And I see the Lord coming into your life. Melissa, I see the Lord coming into your life. And I hear the Lord saying, whatever good work I started in time past, I am the Lord. Whatever I say I will do, I will. And the Lord is saying, tell Melissa, I am about to complete my good work. Oh my God. Whatever you have been through in the past, I see something that has to do with marriage. And the Lord said, I am about to complete. I am about to complete something that has to do with your marriage. And the Lord said, I am about to complete. I hear the Lord saying, tell Melissa, it is time for me to complete my good work. Oh my God, my good work. I use my daughter as a point of contact. And I pray for everybody under the sound of my voice. I pray for everybody under the sound of my voice. In the mighty name of Jesus, may God complete whatever he has started in your life. Every good work the Lord has started in your life. I use Melissa as a point of contact. I speak over everybody. Miracles are coming into your life. Testimonies are coming into your life. Somebody receive it in the name of Jesus. I declare over the first 10 people on the platform today, I see fire coming in the name of Jesus. This is the season of completion. And thou sayest the Lord, I am about to complete. I'm about to complete. There is somebody here. You have started a building. Oh, my eyes are open. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Mm. My eyes are open. Can we take one prayer and zoom into the prophetic? Somebody shall, Father, complete your good work in my life. Father, complete your good work in my life. Let this season be my season of completion. Let this season be my season of completion. Whatever I don't have the strength to carry on, Father, let it come to a successful end. In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 Let it come to a successful end. My season of good work. My season of completion. In the mighty name of Jesus, my season of good work, my season of completion, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, as you lift up your voice in prayer, whatever the Lord has started in your life shall come to a good end. In the mighty name of Jesus, it shall come to a good end. In the mighty name of Jesus, it's your season of completion. It shall come to a good end. In the name of Jesus. Melissa, are you with me? My God. My God. My God. My God. It shall come to a good end. My God. My God. I hear the Lord saying, It shall come to a good end. 
My God. Galatians chapter 6, verse number 9. Galatians chapter 6, verse number 9. Galatians 6, verse 9. Can you project that scripture for me? For I hear the Lord say, this is a scripture for my people. My God, my God, my God. This is powerful. This is powerful. Melissa, the Lord is saying, this is your season of completion. My God, my God, a good end. You will reap a good harvest. A good end means you will reap a good harvest. A good harvest, a press down, a shaking together. My God. I declare over everybody, this year will not come to an end without a good harvest. This year will not come to an end without a good harvest. If you do not grow weary in due season, you shall reap a good harvest, Melissa. This is a word for you. This is a word for you. And thou sayest the Lord. Don't grow weary. Thou sayest the Lord. Do not grow weary. Don't get tired. Melissa, don't get tired. For thou sayest the Lord. You are about. Mm, you are about. You are about. You are about. To reap a good harvest. A good harvest. A good ending is when you end up with a good harvest. My God. A good ending is when you don't labor in vain. A good harvest is when you get the expectation of your labor. A good end is when your expectations are not cut off. A good harvest and a good end. A good end comes with a good harvest. Thou sayest the Lord, don't grow weary, Melissa, for the Lord sent me to tell you, you shall end up with a good harvest. You will end up with a good harvest. Mm. I am seeing you Investing so much into a relationship. Melissa, am I communicating? I see you investing so much into a relationship. And the Lord is saying to me to tell you, don't grow tired of this relationship. You have invested so much into it. And sometimes it gets to a point that you feel like giving up. But the Lord is saying, tell Melissa, it will end up with a good harvest. Don't grow weary. Don't get tired. That means you are already getting tired. But the Lord said, don't get tired. There is somebody connected to you who lives in the United States and the person is praying and working on his document. If you are with me and you can hear me, this is what the Lord is showing me. There is somebody connected to you that I am seeing spiritually. This person is in the United States, and the person is praying for documents. For I hear the Lord saying, I hear the Lord saying, the season and the time has come for me to bring a good harvest. A good harvest. I see you rejoicing. I see you rejoicing. And the Lord is saying, this person that is connected to you and you are praying for the person, you are even connecting the person to men of God, the Lord said that I am bringing a good harvest. I am bringing a good harvest. 
I am bringing a good harvest. I am bringing a good harvest. I am bringing a good harvest. A good harvest. A good harvest. A good harvest. And get ready. For I see a trip ahead of you. Melissa, I see a trip ahead of you. And the Lord is saying, I am changing her address. I am moving her from where she is right now to a place of glory, to a place of divine breakthrough, to a place of her dream. For I see spiritually, the Lord will carry me to a place. And as I enter the place, I am seeing a trip ahead of you. And the Lord is saying, tell Melissa, tell her, tell her, my season, my time, my moment to change her address as she is praying for has come. Has come. Has come. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. For I am seeing you moving from where you are right now to another place. And the Lord is saying, I am changing her address. I am changing her address. In the realms of the spirit, can I even prophesy a little? Today, I don't want to stay long. I don't want to take much of your time. Let me take some 20 minutes to do the prophetic. I just came to tell you today that it will end well. Whatever you are going through, the Lord says, I should tell you, it will end well. 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 My God, it will end well. It will end well. My God, my God, my God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. May God bring you to a good end. I know you are going through a lot, but whatever you are going through, the Lord said it will end well. This is a sure word. This is a now word. The Lord said it will end well. It will end well. It will end well. Melissa, I am happy for you for what I am seeing. I see spiritually that God is taking you to a realm of divine breakthrough. Divine breakthrough. Divine breakthrough. And in this realm, I am seeing a certain month that is ahead of you. And I am seeing the month of November. I am seeing the month of November. And the Lord is saying, Tell Melissa to get ready for my time for divine breakthrough and my time to take her to a place and a realm of glory has come. For I am seeing even spiritually a man who wants to travel from the United States to even visit a place like Jamaica. And I see spiritually that this person is traveling because of you. And I hear the Lord saying, tell Melissa, in the month of November, I am about to surprise you. I'm about to surprise you. The Lord is bringing a surprise to you. And I see God is about to blow your mind. And what you have been praying for, I see spiritually that your season and your time for divine manifestation has come. Your season and your time for divine manifestation has come. And the Lord is saying, I'm about to blow her mind. I'm about to blow her mind. Get ready. You have gotten to a level in God where everything is about to speak for your good. For whatever pain you have been through, the Lord is saying, tell Melissa, 
your season has come. Your season has come. I even pray for you right now, wherever you are joining me from, in the mighty name of Jesus, may God carry you to a realm of divine breakthrough and divine abundance in the mighty name of Jesus. May God carry you to a realm of divine breakthrough and divine abundance in the mighty name of Jesus. I connect somebody under the sound of my voice to this prophetic word. May the heavens be open over your life in the name of Jesus. May the heavens open over your life in the mighty name of Jesus. May God usher you into a realm of divine breakthrough and divine abundance in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I connect you to this prophetic word. I speak as a watchman over your soul. And I speak as a watchman over your spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I call it done. I call it done. I call it done. Somebody type this for me seven times. My season of completion. My season of completion. My season of of completion. Mike, Mike Horman. Mike, if you can hear me, Mike, I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. Mike, I want to pray for you. For in the realms of the spirit, my eyes are open. <laughs> And the Lord is showing me something that is about to happen. For I see you coming closer to a certain moment in your life. Where everything you have been praying for and everything you are waiting to see is accomplished. And the Lord is saying, whatever I have promised you, whatever I have promised you, that you have even waited and never received, this is the time and the season for you to see my glory. For you to see my glory. I don't know how this is going to happen. But I see you moving into a new house. And the Lord is saying, I am even about to bless you with a new house. The Lord is about to bless you with a new house. And tomorrow is our fasting and prayer. One week fasting and prayer. Mm. And this week is going to be a powerful week. This week will be a powerful week. I can promise you. We are fasting for five days. It's a five day fasting and prayer. Revive us again, Lord. We are calling upon the revival of the Lord. We are asking the Lord to revive us again. We are asking the Lord to revive us again. This week is a five day fasting and prayer. We are asking the Lord to revive us again. We are going into the upper room and we are asking the Lord to revive us again. To revive us again. To revive us again. To revive us again. We are asking for the revival of the Lord this week. My God. My God. Revive us this week. Revive us this week. My God, the Lord said, tell Mike, the season where whatever you have prayed for and whatever you've been waiting to receive has been released. For I see somebody coming into your life to apologize to you. 
This is what the Lord is saying. This is spiritually what I am saying. That somebody is coming into your life to apologize to you. And I see the person asking you for forgiveness. I see the person asking you for forgiveness. And the Lord said to me, let it go, forgive them. Let it go, forgive them. Mike, thou sayest the Lord, let it go, forgive them. Somebody that has hurt you in the past, someone who caused pain in your life is coming back to apologize. And the Lord is saying to you, let it go, let it go. Mike, let it go. For I see as you allow it to go, you are about to enter your season and your realm where whatever you have prayed for, even in the past that you never received, God is bringing to you. There is somebody connected to you that was born in the month of June. The Lord said, I am even about to favor her. I am seeing a female, a woman figure connected to you, Mr. Mike, that the Lord is showing me spiritually. Tell him I am about to favor this person. I see the favor of God coming. And the Lord is saying, my season and my time to release my favor upon her has come. I connect everybody to favor. I connect you to favor. I connect you to favor. Oba Pefia. Oba Pefia. Good news is coming. Oba Pefia. Good news is coming. I see you checking your phone and I hear the Lord saying, tell her, I have released the good news. I have released the good news. I have released the good news. Can you come on video? Obafia, if you can come on video, call me. Call me on video right now. Because I want to speak to you. I want to speak to you. I hear the Lord saying, tell her, the season of good news has come. My God. The season for good news has come. Your season for good news has come. Your season for good news has come. I see a door that has opened. And the Lord is saying, Your season for good news has come. Ephia, how are you doing? I'm good, Daddy. <clears throat> Bless you. Bless you. I hear the Lord saying, your season for good news has come. Amen. Get ready. Get ready. I don't know which call you are waiting to receive. But the Lord just said to me to tell you, there is a good news coming and I see a call being connected. A call being connected. And I hear the Lord saying, your season for good news has come. Amen. Your season for good news has come. A greater door has opened for you. This year, a major door has opened for you. Do you have a passport? Yes. I don't know which call you want to receive about a traveling door. About traveling. Something that has to do with traveling. Am I communicating? Yes. This is something that has to do with traveling. Yeah. The Lord said it is released. I see a call coming in. Amen. I see something moving around. And the Lord said, your good news is here. Amen. Your good news is here. Amen. Listen. This is going to be a turnaround for your life. Amen. Whatever you have been praying for, the Lord said to me to tell you, wait, for what you need right now is for the traveling to connect. 
That is all you need. And the good news about this traveling I am seeing is that God is bringing sponsorship. My God. My God. That you are not going to pay a dime or anything for this traveling. What God cannot do does not exist. What our God cannot do does not exist. I see in the realms of the spirit, a door is open. And I see you enter that door. And I hear the Lord saying to me, this is your major door this year. And it's a door, a door for traveling. And I see in the realms of the spirit, as you travel, God is going to increase you even in his anointing. And the Lord is even saying to me to tell you, there is a call upon your life. There is a call upon your life. God is calling you to serve in the ministry. For I see an anointing upon your life. I see a grace upon your life. And the Lord is saying, I will even use you in the ministry. And I will use you to transform people. I will use you to preach the good news. And I will use you to win souls. My God. My God. My God. Thou says the Lord, your season and your time for good news has come. Are you familiar with the month of February? The month of February. I am seeing in the realms of the spirit, the month of February, which is the second month of the year. Do you have pen and paper with you? I even want to prophesy a little. Thank you, Lord. Makarabata. Le graskavados ketelemene. Pin somebody, invite somebody to join us. Kadosh kivadelemene. Le graskavadili. I've read. Yeah. Right, February, the second month of the year. I am seeing you around a place called East Legon in Accra. Are you with me? Yes. And I am seeing you at a birthday party. And this is happening in the month of February next year. For I am seen in the realms of the spirit. There is a child that is connected to you. And this child, his parents live in the East Legon. And I see in the realms of the spirit, you have been invited to a birthday party. And at this birthday party, I see this man who will introduce you to a friend. And I hear the friend saying, you look like my daughter. I want to help you. You look like my daughter. I want to help you. And as I am watching, I see in the realms of the spirit, in the month of February, the Lord gave you a major breakthrough. And that is how I saw that you were traveling to the United States. And the Lord will say to me to tell you, from February next year, five months from February, I am bringing you to the United States. Get ready and prepare. Because this is the channel I am even seeing. This is the channel I am even seeing. You remember where you used to teach? You remember where you used to teach? Yes. There is a child, there is a child whose parents live in the East Legon. And I am seeing in the realms of the spirit that one of these children will be a blessing to your life. That the father is going to introduce you to a big man that will be a blessing to your life. Amen. And the Lord is saying, I am picking you up from the Mary Clay and I am lifting you up to a, a place to stay. For I see in the realms of the spirit that the angel of God is visiting you. You had a dream. You had a dream. And in the dream, you were eating. You had a dream. And you were eating in the dream. The Lord is saying, this is not a bad dream. 
I am preparing a table before you in the presence of your enemies. This is not long ago. You had the dream not long ago. You saw yourself yes. eating. You saw yourself eating in the dream. Yes. yes. The Lord said, He is preparing a table before you in the presence of your enemies. Amen. One of your friends is about to betray you. Listen to this prophecy carefully. One of your friends that you walk with, you even go to buy food at the restaurant with. I don't want to mention the person's name. But there is somebody, I see someone just like you. But the person is dark-skinned. I see you even going to buy food with this person. The Lord is saying, she is about to betray you. For I am seeing you sharing your issues with her. And I see in the realms of the spirit, she will go about disclosing the secret. And I see you guys are about to part ways. The Lord is saying, if you don't break away from her, it will be difficult for me to visit you. Breaking away from her is the doing of the Lord. The Lord is intentionally going to break her away from you. For I am seeing if I am right. Sometimes she even comes to spend the night with you. Yes, that is. The Lord is saying, he is about to break this lady away from your life. And this is going to happen before February. From now to the month of February next year, is your season of preparation. It's your season of preparation that the Lord wants you to get ready. The Lord wants you to prepare for there is a greater destiny and another chapter that is about to be opened for your life. I pray for you in the mighty name of Jesus. May a greater door Open for your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. May a greater door. Open for your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. I declare over you. The door is open. The door is open. The door is open. In Jesus mighty name. I call it down. I call it down. I call it done. In the mighty name of Jesus. It's done. Makarabata. Ligraska vadolomoniate. My God. My God. My God. Le palagadibidi atalamane. Le balabadoshke palavadilimenia. I pray over everybody. May God open a greater door for your life. May God open a greater door for your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. May God open a greater door for your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Prophecy for one is prophecy for all. May God open a greater door for your life. May God open a greater door for your life. I see doors opening for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. I see doors opening for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Doors are opening for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Doors are opening for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. It will end well. It will end well. For doors are opening for you. Makarabata. Legras kavados. Adelemenio setelemene. In the name of Jesus. I see doors opening. Right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, doors are opening. Doors are opening. In the name of Jesus, doors are opening. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Doors are opening. In the name of Jesus. I pray for an open door. An open door. An open door. An open door. Yes, Lord. May the Lord open a new door for you. A new door for you. A new door for you. In the name of Jesus. A new door for somebody. In the mighty name of Jesus. If you do not grow worried, God is opening a door for you. My God. My God. The Lord is saying, I am opening a door for my people. I am opening a door for my people. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. God is opening a new door for you. I see your door opening. In the name of Jesus. Your door is opening. In the name of Jesus, your door, your door. Somebody type my door, my door, my door, my door, my door, my door. In the name of Jesus, a new door. Pin somebody, invite somebody to join. My God, a new door. Oh Jesus, a new door. My door, my door. Doors are opening. They are opening. In the name of Jesus, your doors are opening. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, your doors are opening. Daniel, your doors are opening. In the name of Jesus, Monique, doors are opening. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, doors are opening. Bright me, doors are opening. In the mighty name of Jesus, open doors, open doors, open doors. Thank you, Lord. Open doors. God is about to surprise you with an open door, an open door. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. This is an open door. This is an open door. This is an open door. Ayaga dose. Ipalua kata. Zegedos ketelemene. Eratos kibalabada. Ramando lomonie. Italamani mikapa. Zegedosa. There is somebody by name Samuel. Samuel Odro. Samuel. Samuel. Are you connected to anybody that is pregnant? Are you connected to anybody that is pregnant? A telemenos. Thank you, Lord. Where is he? Samuel, can you hear me? Samuel, are you connected to anybody that is pregnant? For I am seen in the realms of the spirit. There is somebody standing beside you and the person is pregnant. I see somebody standing beside you. And the person is pregnant. Samuel, are you with me? Magras Cavados. I speak in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I speak in the mighty name of Jesus. No enchantment against the pregnant women shall stand. Anybody pregnant on this platform, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, it shall be a safe delivery. It shall be a safe delivery. I see the month of September. Hmm. Listen. Samuel, I want to pray. I want to pray. Magadi Balabados. I see in the realms of the spirit, somebody standing on your right hand side. And I see the person is pregnant. 
I don't know, but if you have anybody that is pregnant, I am seeing like four months, four months of pregnancy. I am seeing like four months of pregnancy and even above. And the Lord is saying that we should pray for this person. For I am seeing the Lord has taken me to a family. And as I enter this family, this is a family where marriages do not work. And the Lord is saying, this lady has defiled and broken the covenant in the family. For young women in the family are not permitted to marry. For I am seeing in the realms of the spirit. As the lady picked the seed, the enemy is projecting to take her life. But thou sayest the Lord, thou sayest the Lord, thou sayest the Lord, he shall not stand. Thou sayest the Lord, he shall not stand. He shall not stand. Samuel, I pray for you. I use you as a point of contact. And I pray for this lady, wherever she is, may the Lord protect her. May the Lord protect her. Samuel, can you come live for me? Can you come on video for me? Magada Balegada. Magraska Vadis Kitelevedos. Ipalua Talamania. Can somebody join me as we lift up a prayer for this lady? That wherever she is, wherever this lady is, as we lift up a prayer, may the Lord preserve her life. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord preserve her life. In the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord preserve her life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord preserve her life. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord preserve her life. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. I can't see you, sir. 